I'm Veronica Pedroza. Here's a look at some of the stories making headlines on Al Jazeera. The U.S. president has told Republicans to stop holding the economy to ransom. Barack Obama's trying to end the deadlock, which has shut down parts of the government for two weeks. If Congress doesn't get back to work, the U.S. risks defaulting on its debt. Patty Culhane has more from Washington, D.C. Another day passes with the U.S. government partially shut down. Another day passes and the U.S. is closer to possibly defaulting on its debt. But the leadership, both the Republicans in the House and the president here, are not necessarily sitting down to negotiate. Instead, they're fighting it out in front of the cameras. Southeast Asian leaders are in Brunei for an annual meeting. Maritime disputes in the South China Sea are expected to dominate talks as are military threats from North Korea. The European Union is pushing for more sea patrols to intercept migrant boats. It follows the deaths of at least 274 people off the Italian island of Lampedusa last week. They were believed to be migrants from Eritrea and Somalia. More than a thousand students have been protesting at Cairo University. There were also demonstrations at Zagazig University north of Cairo. Seven people were injured there between pro and anti-government protesters. And there's new hope in the fight against malaria. Drug maker GlaxoSmithKline's seeking approval to market the world's first vaccine. Trials showed it cut the number of cases in African children by half. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.